Hello and welcome to a tutorial in Lightwave about rigging. So character rigging has always been a problem for me. Well, that is until I found IK Booster and now it's just a breeze. It takes like a minute to rig a character. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let me load a character. So very basic character here with uh, Skeletons already added. So let me select these skeletons so you can see them. So let me zoom that. Okay, so very basic stuff right there. The only thing to pay particular attention is to make sure that you pre-bend your skeletons. For example, here on the on the legs, don't have the skeletons going straight down like this. You have to bend them a little bit to the front so that Lightwave knows which direction you prefer the bend to go. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. It's going to be a nightmare to animate this object using IK. So now that we've got that out of the way, so let's send our character to layout for rigging. All right, so send to layout, and here we are in layout. So let's go to the setup tab. On add, let's convert skeletons into bones. So if you can't see these bones, make sure that your bone x-ray is active, okay? So that you are looking at the bones. So let me hit P for properties, go to appearance, and on the drop-down menu, select IK Booster. Now this tool, IK Booster, is just magic. If you're not using IK Booster, you have to start now. All right, so, I don't like these controllers. By the way, just by adding IK Booster, we have IK active right now. The only thing is I don't see uh, IK Booster to be active because I'm supposed to see some text over here and some more text over there. So if you don't see that text here, just press Control and B or Command B on a Mac. Now we see this one written parent and IKB menu on the other side. So first thing first, let's click on the IKB menu. I want to remove those nodes because I don't like how they look. So let me go to controller size and make sure that it's on zero. Therefore, I just see the bones themselves. Now, right off the bat here, if I just click on a, a bone and drag it, the whole thing just moves around because everything is now controlled by IK. So the only thing we need to do now is to tweak it because this is pretty much the rigging process done, except we need to tweak it a little bit. Here where it says parent, just click until it says all items, because I think for beginners, all items is a good mode to animate in. All right, so let's go here and tell it which IK chains are separate. For example, here on the shoulder, I want this IK, if I move the arm, not to move the entire body. So I'll go to this shoulder bone and right click and say IK stop. So now there's a square inside the circle showing that we have IK stop there active. So if I click a bone here and move it around, now you see it behaves more natural. So the IK doesn't bleed into the rest of the body. So I can do that on the other side as well. Do that on the feet. IK stop and do that on the neck as well. So now if I move the head, it doesn't affect the body. All right, now I want to be able to swing okay, on the feet as well. It's the same thing happening, like so. I want to be able to swing these hips without moving the feet. So what I do is I go down here, right click. By the way, if you make a movement that you don't like, just press Control Z, undo, to go back to how it was. So let me right click the bone, the knee, uh, the ankle bone, sorry, and say fix. Go to the next one and say fix as well. So now when I grab this center of gravity and move it around, we are almost there, but the feet are swinging and I don't like that. So to fix that, I fix the following bone as well. So two bones next to each other are both fixed. So there's a solid uh, circle that you see there showing that that bone is fixed. So now if I swing this part, yeah, as you can see, the feet are fixed as you would expect. And that's pretty much the uh, uh, 
what's this? the rigging process completely done because now I can pose the character as I want. So let me go to, let me try and add a few pauses here. Let me reduce the frame count. Go to frame five. Let me lower it down like so. Move the bone like that. So this is how easy it is to animate a character now. Okay, let me go back to frame 10 and lift it up like that. So as you can see, animating made very easy like so see that very very simple now one other advantage of uh, apart from the quick rigging an advantage of using ik booster is that you can update your rig in real time as you animate let's say for example on frame 15 because i have these feet fixed down here i can't really move my object up if I wanted to. So what I could do is unfix them. Let me go and unfix. And this has no effect on the rig itself at all. So now at frame 15, I can lift my object and do some other different kind of animation that I want like that. But then it doesn't affect the animation that I already did elsewhere. So if I prefer again at frame 20, I want to fix this part, I can simply fix it and then move the rest of the body, fix the arm. And for example, if the arm is supposed to be touching a wall or touching a desk of some kind, I can fix those two bones here. And then as I move the object here, oh, sorry, too many fixes. So let me unfix that, giving us a problem. So now I can, uh, let me use the center of gravity like so. So you see the arm is completely fixed as if it's holding something like that. So I can animate that part and go to frame 25. Remove the fix. Like that and then do some other animation like so. So as you can see here, it will act fixed and then it will be released. So this is this uh, ik booster makes animation really really fun and simple so if you want more tutorials on ik booster uh, just let me know in the comments below but otherwise this is how you the basic rigging of a character using ik booster and you can immediately begin to animate your character like this all right thanks for watching and i will see you in another tutorial